Chevy likes a chicken drumstick. Can we come right I don't know, Dalmo just loves to chew Chubby's tail. Does anybody know why dogs do that? She's like, we're best buddies. Poor thing woke up with a fever today. Mm. He never gets sick. Oh, are you sad too? <sighs> My nose feels raw today. Um, yeah. I'm so glad spring's here, but unfortunately, you know, spring also punches you in the face of hay fever. So usually, I rely on antihistamines, but I don't think I'm allowed to take it now. So, I'm just gonna suck it up. I saw something on Nine Gag um, yesterday and it made me want to try it. It reminded me of something that we tried to make when we were in uh, high school. All you really need is bread, cheese, butter, soup. So what I do is I pretty much just Cut off the crust. Before I do anything, I'm gonna take my hands. If you have a rolling pin, use a rolling pin, but I don't have a rolling pin. I'm just gonna use my hand and I'm just gonna press it. So just make sure your hands are clean. So obviously I was blowing my nose earlier, but I did wash my hands. I remember in high school when we were doing this, some guys thought, oh, I'll just sit on it. And I'm thinking back, why would you sit on something you're gonna eat? It's just weird. And then we have two flat pieces of bread. I can then sprinkle the cheese on top. Once the cheese is on top, I can just start rolling it. I'm gonna roll nice and tight. La la la. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. It's kind of like a bread cheese sushi. We have these two things. Now I have my knife, I can then cut it into smaller pieces. So now that the butter has melted, I can just fry these things. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. Now these rolls are finally done, so then you can just dip them into like any soup you like. Oh, do I have soup? I do have soup. I have chicken and mushroom cream soup. Let's try this. Let's take this. Dip this into my soup. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. You guys have to try this. Since Tim had a fever today, I pretty much uh, just went to visit my parents in STK, which took me two hours to get to, and I was waiting for a bus for like 45 minutes. Oh, beer back. Beer back. Hello? I went to see my parents, and I was nice having dinner, really, and now um, Tim's gonna be collecting me, so I'm just sitting here, just waiting, <laughs> drinking my banana milk, as always. Home sweet home! Good thing is Tim's fever has actually gone down, but he's still shivering a little bit, so he's in bed. Chubby is just being a little guardian angel. Especially when I'm lying in bed, I've been feeling like these, like these little flutters in my tummy, and I'm not sure if it's gas or if it is baby moving around, but it usually only happens when I'm in bed, so. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm only like almost 17 weeks. Apparently, most first time mothers don't even feel like the baby moving until like at least 19, 20 weeks, but I don't know. Maybe I'm extra sensitive. I think I feel it. You guys know what time it is? It's time to write in my thankful book. Ooh, this can't be good. I've come to drop off a present. Thank you for putting me in the mood while I write this. So I can just talk to Tim, like just like a normal conversation while he's putting away. It doesn't, it's no big deal, really. So today I'm thankful for, okay, so number one, Tim's fever finally went down. Happy to know he feels better. Number two, the phone call I received from the doctors, knowing Peanut is okay. Number three, dinner with family and STK. Family even gave me food to bring back for Tim. Well, sleep was... Oh! <laughs> um, I kept waking up every two, three hours. Tim's fever actually came back. And it's so cute, he's like a little child. I was sleeping and I felt the bed vibrate and I realized it was him shivering so I woke up to draw him a bath and I wanted to keep changing his cold tile in his head and feed him food. He makes brownies in the morning. I do. Hopefully the brownies will cheer him up. He's like a child, like I said before. Someone feels better. You're no longer burning up. <laughs> See no care.
I just got my bag ready to go and this is what I find inside. Like it must be my mom like putting this inside. Heading to the doctors right now. Is this thing either? We might find it the sex of the baby. Fingers crossed. Are you feeling better after the chicken pot? I had an immense diarrhea today. As our friend says, don't hit the chicken, hit your body. <laughs> Here, waiting to be called in, in that door. We know! We know it's gonna be a boy or girl. TBA! Talk to you guys later. Eating lunch. While enjoying the signs of Tim in the bathroom. Having diarrhea. Lovely. But we know uh, we're not going to say anything yet until at least three weeks because uh, the doctor was only 60-70% sure. Basically, Pina was just lying in a more difficult position. So it's a bit harder to see, but she was like, yeah, I'm 60-70% sure, but it was exactly what I thought it would be. So now I just feel bad for Tim because he's been shivering all day and from the signs of what's been going on in the toilet, it, yeah. And I don't have appetite to eat this anymore. Hi. Obviously, Chubby's not affected. Have a carrot. See, if that is why when you have hot pot. I hate hot pot. Why? Did you? I even said the days before. Do I really have to go? And you were like, at least just come. And we sit. were fine. Yeah, but you made me go. I was. I didn't the... make you eat undercooked food. And but worst thing is, happens. you cooked it yourself. Just been smiling all day, and I just knew it. You know, I just knew like a mother's instinct is always right. I could be wrong. You know, the doctor did only say sixty to seventy percent. So now I just gotta think. In three weeks' time, when we really do find out, how should we announce it? Since Tim is pretty much bedridden, he can't eat. So I made myself dumplings because I'm really craving dumplings. Something about pork and lettuce in it, and the soup that you get with it. You know, it's a like comfort food. Someone just rung the bell. Yes. Can I have a bubble bath, please? <laughs> My body's cold. Yeah. I was saying that Tim is really thankful for the bell that Maddie got us. <laughs> I'm supposed to be using that bell, not you. You've never seen me this unwell in a long time. I know. I only got this unwell because I went hot pot with your mom. Don't blame us, honey. Stop it. And the thing is, every time he's gone to the toilet, he had the need to tell me about it. And he's like, it's so gross. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Look how big my bub looks. I, can tell you. I just find this strawberry point pads and I don't think I'm using it wrong. <laughs> the pictures, like it shows a girl tree pads in the face and I'm like, is that it? It just covers my cheeks. You're going to sleep. Chikari po chikari. He just looks awkward. I, oh, 